Tonight, our year-long investigation continues into strong-arm tactics used by Cleveland's Water Department. This time, uncovering another one that could cost you your home. On your side, Chief Investigator Ron Riggin caught the Water Department going after what families spend a lifetime trying to achieve. Well, owning your own home is the American dream. But we found the Cleveland Division of Water is helping destroy that for thousands of homeowners. They're preying on families and individuals who are, you know, stressed out in many ways in other situations, and to add this on is very difficult. That's how Sherry Gordon describes what happened to her sister's home. Our mortgage went from, you know, a normal mortgage to about forty-five hundred dollars. Forty-five hundred dollars per month. month. Right. What did that do to you? It caused us to have to, you know, sell the home. I mean, we would have foreclosed. We would have lost the home. And it all began with a $3,000 bill for water she says they never used. And despite repeatedly questioning how their bill could suddenly skyrocket, Sherry says they received no answers until the monthly mortgage arrived. They um, cowardly passed the bill or the invoice onto our mortgage holder. That's right. Instead of providing answers, Cleveland Water allowed the bill to escalate to over $30,000 and slapped it onto the mortgage as a tax lien. Did they alert you that they were going to do this or did this come as a total surprise? It came as a total surprise to us. Never told you they put this on a tax lien? Never told us that they put it on a tax lien. A tax lien that forced the sale for a loss just to avoid foreclosure. It's incredible. I mean, it's a huge, huge number of um, customers that are having their uh, bills assessed um, onto their property taxes. How many? We found nearly 8,000 water tax liens on homes across Cuyahoga County over just the last three years. In fact, Cleveland Water has been so aggressive, nearly four times as many homeowners are facing tax liens since 2013. We showed our findings to the Cleveland Legal Aid Society. Does this contribute to the foreclosure crisis? I think it does contribute to the foreclosure crisis. A crisis that since 2012 created more than 25,000 foreclosures in Cuyahoga County alone. Frank Ford has spent years researching it's foreclosures. It's a red flag to suggest that this should be looked at carefully because I think there's some evidence that if we're not careful about how we go about collecting, if we're too aggressive, we end up shooting ourselves in the foot. Ford says of those 3,600 water tax liens in 2015, one in 10 resulted in foreclosure, and one in three of those ended up vacant, increasing the likelihood of crime and vandalism. If they just lean hard on people who may be uh, financially strained, they could end up forcing those people out of their home over a you know, several thousand dollar bill and end up in foreclosure, you end up with a vacant home. Plus, it costs taxpayers plenty, $10,000 to demolish just one foreclosed home. And while no one knows just how many foreclosures can be blamed on water tax liens. What causes us significant concern is that there um, are often times where the water department is not properly billing customers. I know from personal experience that the water department does overbill people and it can be a very long and difficult process to try to resolve that bill dispute. There's also concern the Cleveland Water Department is violating a federal court ruling protecting water customers' rights. Did anyone at, from the very beginning say to you, you have a right to a water review board hearing? Never, never. The water review board was created by this 1987 federal consent decree, created to help water customers facing excessive bills and threatened shutoffs. There are thousands of people, customers, and, and I can't speak to that. There's certainly a possibility that those violations are out there. Hearing about your story on the radio, um, I was driving and I heard that you were doing a report on the water department and it just got my blood boiling because, you know, I lost my home because of them. And Cleveland's water department is putting a record number of tax liens on homes. At the very same time, our investigation has shown case after case of skyrocketing water bills 
that customers say they never used the water. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Ron, this is incredible stuff. Our year-long investigation into the Cleveland Water Department continues one week from tomorrow. It's a special News 5 half-hour investigation, Drowning in Dysfunction. That's next Thursday at 6 o'clock.